Okay guys, how's it going? It's been a long time. I've been working a lot, like 70 hours a week for the last month. So, just trying to make some money for traveling and stuff. So, I've just been too busy to post anything. But I figured, seeing how Steam has a big-ass summer sale going on, I figured we could uh, take a look at some of the games I'm thinking of buying. Let's see. Um... I mean, I've put these on my wish list for like, some of these games have been on here for like two years, so I'm like, why was I gonna play Brothers in Arms? Oh dear God. Yes, let me look at it. I mean, I love this game. Love it. I guess the reason why I was wanting to do that was to maybe do a go through, because I don't think the game works on the Xbox 360. Yeah, it's not backwards compatible. So I guess I was going to try and go through it again. I love this game. This is definitely one of my favorite World War II games. Um, it would be kind of weird, though, on PC, but I guess as long as it ran well. Oh, wow. You could get all three games for five bucks? Holy shit. This is a good sell. Well, that's one of the reasons why I love Steam, because when they go on sale, they... yeah. Well, they go on sale often, and when they do go on sale, it's pretty freaking awesome. So I might get that. I don't know. Yeah, Children of the Nile. I've been looking at this game for a while. What is it? Like, I don't even... Is it just a uh, city builder, I guess? Kind of like an updated version of Pharaoh, I guess? Wow, is that screenshot big enough? God. I mean, it looks interesting. Haven't really been in a ancient Egyptian mood for a while. Not since playing um, Assassin's Creed Origins. Need to get back on that. Yeah, Pharaoh and Zeus. Just like I thought. Um, I mean, the three bucks. Can't really go wrong, I guess. I'll think about that. Stalker, I've been wanting to play this forever. I, oh my god, I've been wanting to play this for a long time. I probably have been wanting to play this game for like, yeah, probably about 10 years now. See, now I have a good friend, Big Daddy, who's actually from Ukraine. We used to always talk about this game. And I think that wasn't this made by the guys who did Metro 2033. So, and that's probably in my top 30 favorite games of all time, so... Yeah, I really love those guys. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty crazy and creepy. So, yeah. I think it's supposed to be pretty fucking scary. Was that the first one? Yeah, this might have actually been the sequel. So this was the first one. Yeah, overwhelmingly positive out of 12,000 reviews. Okay, I'm clicking it. Why isn't that working? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can tell from the graphics. Yeah, this is probably the first one. 2007, all right. Okay. Guess we know what happened to Igor. Jesus. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. I don't know. Might check that out. Been wanting to play those games for a long time. Um, The Last Express, this looks kind of interesting. Yeah, it's supposed to be a pretty classic game. 97 was a great mo uh, video game year. Yeah, you had Myth of Fallen Lords, Final Fantasy VII, probably a bunch of other games I can't think of. Bit, but, um, yeah, it looks like they used live-action actors and just animated over them. Kind of how that movie from the 80s, what was it, Fire and Ice or something? I don't like how they did that, I guess. So that could be interesting. Kind of weird looking though, but uh, I don't know, it's unique. So I guess this is uh, inspired by Agatha Christie's thing. Again, I mean, two bucks. It's really just a time issue now. Like, um, how much time do I actually have to play video games? I mean, I still got to go through Lego Indiana Jones, for crying out loud. 
I love the book and sword games. Yeah. But 12 bucks. Eh. You can also get this on the Xbox One. So I'm kind of curious which console or whatever I should get this on. Um, I know a lot of people bitch about the third one and the fourth one. But I was actually looking at the reviews of them back when they came out. And people seemed to like them. And I love, you know early 2000 video games so I might actually like them okay but I love the first one love the second one and you know I still need to play the third fourth and fifth one so maybe go with the third and the fourth one I think they're like 2.99 or 3.99 but um I don't know, 12 bucks eh. and Praetorians a dollar 49 I think they just did a remaster of uh remaster of this yeah, so that might be worth looking into. <laughs> Gall Chief. Yeah, do they... Oh, is this made by the same guys that did Commandos? God, I remember those fucking games. Yeah, HD Remaster, 14 bucks. Alright. Does it look any... Diff what the fuck? Okay, Steam. Looks exactly the same. So why pay like $12 more? <laughs> oh yeah, road trip special. Save an additional $5. All right. Damn, I need to go on a road trip. I've been saving up to go to Brazil, but I don't think that's going to happen now. So need to go somewhere. I was looking at going to Iceland or somewhere, but we'll see. So, what did they do different? Like, what's special about this? Gaul, Egyptian, alright. Doesn't really seem like they did a whole lot, but I don't know. I mean, for a dollar forty-nine. I mean, geez. Yeah, I actually remember when this came out. I remember looking at the box art. I've been looking at Battle Academy for a while now. I don't know. Could be interesting. I, I hate the uh, art style. Make it look like a cartoon. I mean, it definitely kind of looks like an updated version of Blitzkrieg. But, I don't know. I kind of rather just play Blitzkrieg. But, I don't know. Again, like I said, I mean, $1.49. Oh, how much? Uh, 23 bucks for all the DLC? Pfft, kiss my ass. As you can tell, I have some money now, but I am definitely still being a cheap ass. <laughs> well, because, I mean, how much money do I want to spend on video games that I may or may, li may not like? And also, am I even going to have time to play them? I mean, most of the Steam games I already have, I haven't played yet, so... Yeah. And I've been looking at this one for a long time. It was recommended to me way back when I did a... I think my Waterloo or Lini and Cordoba episode like five years ago. Um, I have their other game. I think it's Second Manassas, but I haven't played it yet. I mean, it looks cool. Like, there's the old guard. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool. It's just 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And this game's pretty old, so I'm like, eh. I don't know. But it might be one of those games that I get, and I'm like, why the fuck didn't I buy this when it came out? Pike and Shot's supposed to be really good. Yeah, I've heard some really good things about this. And seeing how last year I was in a um, Louis XIV mood, and a bit of a Cromwell mood too, I should probably have checked it out last year. Yeah, that might be interesting. Sin, what is it? Sengoku Jedi. Sengoku Jedi. This is basically like Pike and Shot. I think it's done by the same guys, but oh, it looks like they're besieging a castle there. But I, I don't think it's supposed to be as good. Like the game mechanics are kind of not quite as well tuned, I hear tell from reviews, but I don't know. I'm always up for a good samurai game. I wish I could play Keshin. Yeah, wish somebody would port that over here. Yeah, turn-based strategy game. 
10 bucks. Yeah, wait on that one. This game always looked kind of cool. I think I only wanted this one because it had naked ladies in it, <laughs> supposedly. I love Expeditions uh, Conquest or whatever, but um, this one looks kind of cool. I need to do a live stream of uh, Expeditions Conquest. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, what was that, 10 bucks? Now, these games I've been looking at, they're kind of a little old-fashioned, but they look kind of cool. To be honest, though, I'd probably just rather play Pharaoh. I mean, if the campaign wasn't so long for Pharaoh, I would probably do an episode of that. Quest for Glory looks kind of cool for an old school game. Hey, was that Naked Cat Women? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, what What the fuck? Uh, those are Naked Cat Dudes. I shall remove myself from that. Alright. Yeah, no point in buying that. You can just watch it on YouTube. Yeah, I think that was a sequel. They, aren't they supposedly making a new one? I don't know what it's called, like Age of Kings, not Age of Kings, um, something. Yeah, I think they're making a new one. <sighs> what was this? Oh, yeah, 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 this. Yeah, it was basically an American Revolution game. Kind of like that old uh, Civil War Generals game. Look kind of, yeah, look kind of nostalgic and cool. How much was this? Six bucks? Uh, that's pretty tempting. Uh... I feel like playing as America would get my ass handed to me, so eh. Now, Field of Glory, I've been looking at this game for a long, long time. Yeah. The gameplay looks eh, I guess because it's like turn based. But, um, I don't know. It just looks pretty cool. Because, I mean, you can play as like anybody, especially if you get all of the DLC. I mean, I think it goes from like. The Persian invasion of Greece all the way up to like Belisarius with the Byzantines. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, Macedonians. Wish they would uh, so show some action. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty interesting. I mean, I pause so much when I'm playing real-time strategy games that it might as well be turn-based. Yeah, but um, the thing is, if you get all the DLC, like, you know, Persia, Age of Belisarius, Legions, I think this is the Alexander the Great one. You know, if you get all that, it's going to be $37, so that's why I've been kind of like, eh. And again, do I have fucking time to play? It's just, eh. But, I don't know. I mean, this is a pretty damn good sale. And I love Titan Quest. One day, I definitely want to record my go-through on that. It's a long-ass game. I mean, I think it's about 60 hours, give or take. And now they have these new DLCs, like Ragnarok. So, you're going to be fighting, like, the Norse monsters and stuff. Should be kind of cool. And uh, they even have a new, new one. I think this came out... Yeah, last year, Atlantis, which looks kind of fucking crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I'll definitely look at those. It's just, I definitely want to go through Titan Quest, the, the original one first, and then do the DLC, and I do not have time to go through Titan Quest again. I mean, I went through that game like four years ago, and I mean, it's a 60-hour game. And, I mean, each one of these DLCs could be 10 to 20 hours long, so who the hell knows. I'm definitely going to buy this. I've been looking at this for a long time. I haven't really heard anything about it. Like, do people like it? I don't know, but I mean, Age of Empires 2. I mean, come on. I've been playing the HD version for a couple of years now, and I mean, the original version's like... Probably number three or four favorite strategy games of all time. I mean, this was my childhood. So imagine getting to play a new updated version of it. I mean, come on. 
It's a fucking no-brainer. And the cool thing, too, is if you have the um, Age of Empires 2 HD, they cut you some slack. And so instead of paying 15 I would just pay 11 So that's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. So yeah, I'll definitely do that. I mean, one of the greatest games ever made for 11 bucks. Yeah, no-brainer. Um, I've been looking at this, you know, I'm a big Ultimate General fan, so, I mean, Ultimate Admiral? <laughs> Looks pretty, pretty cool. I just, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's like Bunker Hill or whatever. I mean, it could be, well, and the thing, too, is it's early access, so, you know, and it costs 32 bucks, so I'd kind of Kind of rather wait on this one just to see what they're gonna do. Hey, it came out on my birthday. Sweet So yeah, I think I shall wait on that one wait and see Um, there are some other games. I was kind of curious about like um Wouldn't mind going through medieval 2 I mean, not Medieval 2, um... Well, I would like to go through that again on the live stream. Um, where's Medieval 1? Uh... I guess I should have just typed in Total War. Not sure what other games I should uh, check out. If you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know. Um, yeah, where the fuck is? Ooh, yeah, people are not liking this. Well, when I saw the trailer for it and stuff, I'm just like, uh. well, and I just don't think the Total War system is a good idea for the Trojan War. It just doesn't. Man, this doesn't make sense. I really think uh, Koei's game, Warriors Legends of Troy, was definitely the way to go. I, I, that's another game I need to do another go-through of. Oh my god, yeah. Love that game. Where the fuck is... Medieval? Total War Collection. Is that what I would go with? I mean, I have this on disc, but it might just be easier to just get it on here. I love this fucking game. I played this game so many times. I mean, it takes about, I don't know, like, what, 40 hours to beat the game, the campaign. And I've probably have gone through the campaign 20 times, like, no joke. So, it would definitely be fun doing a li live stream or a, just a go-through of it again. And for two bucks, I mean, yeah, cannot argue with that. So, yeah, I'll probably buy that. Um, but, I mean, yeah, here's my library. Broken Sword. Um, Total War. I need to do the live, uh, let's play of that, totally. Titan Quest, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember doing a live stream of this. It was like a four and a half hour live stream, and when I went back to watch it, it was all fucked up and lagging, I guess just because the game's old or whatever. It didn't work on the, uh, live stream capture, so I just wasted four and a half hours. I was so pissed off. Oh yeah. I'm actually going to start a go-through on this today. I guess live stream or whatever. So that'll be fun. Keep an eye out for that. Seeing how the 4th of July is coming up, I figured I might as well do the American Revolution. And this was a this was an awesome game. I mean, I played the fuck out of this. I mean, the DLC. I mean, geez, it takes forever. I think the main campaign took me about 60 hours to beat. And then the DLC, each one's like 30 hours. So, yeah. Napoleon, need to do that one day. A live stream of that or whatever. With the general civil war, that took me a while to go through. Gettysburg. Yeah, some other games I have, but I need to go through. 
Yeah, I haven't started the banner banner saga yet. That's supposed to be pretty cool. Petersburg. Yeah, I mean it's just okay. I'm gonna go past those. You're not supposed to see those. <laughs> but yeah, there's just so many games that I've Oh, it was Expeditions Conquistador. I thought it was Conquest. Well, you were kinda right. Yeah, this was a very fun strategy or turn based RPG game. Yeah, that was a very, very fun game. Yeah, here's another strategy game I need to go through. So, I mean, I have all of these freaking games. It's just, don't have time to play them. I need to go through this big time. This is supposed to be, like, the best. Like, everybody says this is, like, by far and away the best Indiana Jones game. Plus, everyone's like, this should have been the fourth movie. The story's that good. So, yeah. Definitely need to go through that. I got this game for pretty cheap. It looked kind of cool. Kind of like, um, I don't know, kind of like a ripoff of Stronghold, but uh, maybe kind of more action-oriented. I like the Stronghold games. Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing those again. Oh, yeah, I, went, I played this game a lot when I was a kid. Never got to beat it, though. That's kind of why I bought it, so I could actually beat the fucking thing 20 years later. Yeah, I thought this game looked kind of interesting. But again, didn't get to it. Yeah, the Odyssey. We got all of these games when I was going through, uh, well, when I was making the Trojan Wars series. Need to get back to that one of these decades. This game was fun doing a Let's Play of. Yeah, it was good going through that again. I played that for four hours. I don't even remember playing this. What the hell did I even do? <laughs> I really don't even remember. Sniper Elite, need to play that. Even though the second one's just a remake. Oh yeah, Take Command, Second Manassas. Yeah, this is like that uh, Waterloo game. Good God, I have so many fucking games I need to play. Oh, you should see how many games on my PlayStation 4 and Xbox One I still need to play. I mean, it's fucking crazy. Marco Polo, Versailles. Kind of cool I've been in this room in real life. Ah, oh, Joan of Arc. Forgot about this game. <sighs> yeah, I still gotta go through this. One day, man. One day. I don't, th I don't think I did a Let's Play of this, but I think I might have recorded like one mission or whatever. It was okay. Kind of a... Using the Blitzkrieg um, engine. It was okay. But yeah, guys. So, yeah. I'm going to buy a few games today. And God knows when I'm actually going to get to play them. But we'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And I'll check them out. Search them up and stuff. But uh, yeah. Take it easy.